Hi, my name is Darren Joseph from HGJ.tax. We're the team that seeks to demystify this sometimes confusing world of international tax. And the privilege of having a deep conversation with Mark. Mark, can you please introduce yourself? I'm Mark Morris. I'm based in Switzerland. I've been here for about 26 years. I've specialized in automatic exchange of information, which originally was the EU Commission's EU Savings Tax Directive. And that went on until about 2014. And they scrapped that and they adopted the OECD's FATCA made into CRS. So can you share with us what it is you do professionally? Primarily, I mm -hmm. provide custodial services for mm -hmm. trusts to hold underlying entities or partnerships or unincorporated funds. So what I do is I provide the administration services for the custodial. I don't do the actual custody. And later on, I'll explain what administration services for custodial is. And uh, I'm an expert in CRS and CAF, and I certainly know the intricate differences between CAF and CRS. We'll get into that in a later question, okay? So I've published over 600 articles on LinkedIn, and I'm still writing about 10 a week. And I don't see other people covering 99% uh, of the topics on, on CRS that I cover. Okay, thank you. Can you talk to us about the crypto asset reporting framework? What are your thoughts on that? Well, first of all, only 54 countries have pledged to implement mm -hmm. CAF. So it leaves a lot of countries, if Hong Kong, for instance, hasn't. Then it's easy just to switch your account to a crypto exchange in Hong Kong. And, yeah. and, mm -hmm. But I've got to take my hat off to the, the OECD. They knew about the shell bank loophole that investment entities don't report. Mm -hmm. And the main difference between crypto and CRS is in crypto, in CAF, Mm -hmm. An investment entity is, is not excluded from being a reportable person. Mm -hmm. That means the crypto exchange or the bank or even must look through the mm -hmm. investment entity mm -hmm. and it must carry on looking through. Even if there's another financial institution that is a sub-account holder, it must carry on until it holds, finds a, a beneficial owner. So right. that is a big change. And I think that's going to catch a lot of people because mm -hmm. I haven't read other people writing about investment entities are now reportable in CAF. And that, that's a big change. But the problem is until there's a lot more than the 54 countries that have pledged to join, a lot of them are going to say, why should I join if three quarters of the world is not joining? For instance, mm -hmm. we'll get to MDR, which uh, mandatory disclosure rules, which a lot of countries also said, if other countries haven't implemented, we're not going to. And that could happen to CAF. But is there momentum, though, in the pipeline? Are there other countries that are... Uh, the to place OECD discussion? hold meetings every month <laughs> on CAF, and they release who's joined. So 48 on the first day all signed an agreement, mm. a pledge, mm. including the USA. And the USA they will never exchange information. They can write, all, we're with you. Our thoughts and prayers are with you. But mm -hmm. they'll never... So the USA will never be part of CAF. Mm -hmm. And myself and other people, we've got accounts with the Coinbase, the States, and that will never be part of COF. And it's going to be like CRS. What? We forgot some. We said, what are the loopholes of CRS? The single biggest loophole, probably three quarters of everything, is people hiding money in the States. Yeah. They exchange this little bit on interest, which is easy to avoid. And no bank in the States exchanges. And the States will never exchange information because mm -hmm. they said, why should we? We said we would as a sweetener mm -hmm. for you to join FATCA, but yeah. then they never went ahead. And they say, mm -hmm. why should we destroy our own financial system, even though we destroyed yours like Switzerland? And mm -hmm. second of all, they said, not one penny will come from us exchanging information for us. So why should we? You know, we are the bastion of freedom and people who are hiding their money from the government. From, they can mm -hmm. use us. So mm -hmm. compare that to what they did to Switzerland. If you don't exchange information, we'll close down your bank. You can't access mm -hmm. dollars. So yeah, it's the states plus the loopholes. And CAF does have a loophole, okay? It's very intricate. But I want to explain precisely. It's technical. But mm -hmm. anybody can set up a structure that CAF what won't report. Mm -hmm. It's using nominees. Okay. Okay.